Okay. Oh. I've, I've done it a couple of times, and it's easy when you're in your 20s. I did it in my 20s, and I did it again in my early 40s. But now it's, it gets harder and harder to, to deal with that. And, okay. and, it, and it's not terribly good for you. you know? Got it. Would you do nudity? Oh. N well, I, I... Well, Lottie. <laughs> Are you flirting with me? <laughs> I don't think no. I, I I wouldn't, but only for the reason that I would I wouldn't want to impose this on an audience. <laughs> oh no! You know, I, I, I sort of uh, so I, modest. Yeah, no, no, modest. just realistic. Just realistic. <laughs> One of the roles that we absolutely remember you for is from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Major. And I heard My that you actually movie. found yourself sitting and having lunch or eating with oh, yeah. Steven Spielberg and yeah. Harrison Ford. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, you have, you have to remember, this was my very first movie. I'd never, mm -hmm. done, never done anything like this before. We were shooting in London at the L Street Studios, and uh, I'm, in the com I'm, in the, I'm in the line at the commissary, you know, the cafeteria, mm -hmm. getting my lunch, and I just happened to be, be just behind Harrison, who kind of goes, hey, how you doing? I said, oh, I'm nice. Oh, that's nice. And then a couple of places behind us was uh, Mr. Spielberg. And then they started chatting, and then they were moving towards a table, and then Harrison just kind of went, would you like to join us? So I said, sure. You know, I, you know I'd never... I mean, you can imagine my first movie. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I remember thinking, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep my ears open, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to... And they were just talking about the film and stuff, you know, and I was, I was loving it. I was like, you know... Wow. Well, now you're in the play The Father at the Pasadena Playhouse, and your character, Andre, shows us the world that um, as he struggles with mm -hmm. dementia. Uh, tell us more about the play. Well, it, you know, very often stories about like this, about, you know, people suffering with various forms of dementia, it's told from the point of view of the observer. Okay. Someone who's looking after them, someone who's, de you know, who's dealing, helping them deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. what, we, what our play does is it takes us into Andre's head. So we're seeing everything from his point of view. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You know, so it kind of makes it more of a sort of unique perspective. Intriguing. Got it. What do you hope people take away from a play like this? Well, I think, you know, I hope people are, I hope people are entertained. I hope they're enlightened in some way. I mean, the, the play is very funny. You know, it's, there's some heartbreak in it for sure, but it's, a, but, it, but it's a play that ultimately is very supportive and very kind of uh, energetic about humanity, about being mm -hmm. human, about how yeah. people don't change just because they're ill. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's such a common situation we need to have empathy for. I'm going to come watch you. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you got him. Thank you. Yes, of course. Alfred, thank you so much for stopping by. You can catch Alfred in his play, The Father, at the Pasadena Playhouse. <laughs> Go to the real.com for information on tickets.